What's going on y'all? This is Tom from Nerd On and I'm doing something that you guys have seen before with other people who are online who make all this card stuff. And again, I've been going through this this dark spiral of, you know, loving trading card games all over again and spending way too much money. Um I'm I'm decided to do my own uh, mail Monday. So happy whatever Monday today is, or you know whenever you're watching it, because it's a happy day for me. I just came back from holiday trips, and there's a bunch of cards waiting for me, and uh, some funny stories along the way that I'll definitely explain with those cards. Uh, come along. Let's not get waste too much time, uh, and and let's just let's just go into all this stuff. Let's just get into all the cards, baby. Let's go. First off, we got the Yu-Gi-Oh, boy, you know what I'm saying? We got that TCG, you know, direct, oh God. Direct TCG games buying, um, and they do these like little things here. So, so we got, okay, we got Advanced Dark, baby. We got Advanced Dark, um, and uh, I've been wanting this because I've been making a Crystal Beast deck. Um, I've been using a structure deck uh, right now and kind of, you know, took three structure decks and I made a deck out of it. And uh, I saw the advanced Crystal Beast come out, so this seemed pretty interesting to put in the deck and, and make around. And I realized I can't make it, I'm not going to make it too competitive because the people who I'm playing Yu Gi Oh with aren't super competitive, so I'm like not net decking the most powerful cards. And then I also took Thunderball and Dice Dungeon. I want to make a new deck where it's like all the dice monsters and rolling the dice and doing dumb stuff. Um, there's part of me that kind of wants to play almost like a different format where it's like you have to do like EDH like in Commander but then it's like anime anime stuff because you don't see Yugi with like three Swords of Revealing Lights or three copies of Dark Magician you know we we do that now currently in the in the game because it's very advantageous for us to do so but I was like oh why don't I just make these decks that are like kind of like singleton format 40 cards you know and I think that'd be kind of fun I just think that'd be kind of fun Next, what we got? We got the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Now this one, I am making a Blue Eyes deck and it is supposed to be pretty like competitive in that sense where it's like I'm, you know, milling cards and I'm getting, you know, these ancient orb or lightning or egg or whatever things. And I need this for that. And again, I'm still trying to figure out how to use Synchro Summons to the best of my ability using Master Duel. But uh, I just need, I knew I knew I had to get this. Just not even for a, like, not even just to play the game, but just for collector value too, because um, I know this is probably not the best val you know, um, condition, but I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm a part of collector too. Next step, next one. Okay, this is Boros Signal. This, this is magic, and this is this is more magic. These guys came from um, a website called Cardsphere. If you're looking to save money and not looking to get cards right away. Uh, I definitely recommend this. This was recommended to me by a friend. And so I ended up buying these for less than like technically market value. So it's like other people who are willing to sell cards or trade cards for lower value, um, which I think is pretty cool. You could set your own cost and what you're willing to spend. You fund your own account and then you buy it. So these are the first two. These are like the tests. I'm like, I wanna see how this works. And then I was like, oh, they, they go pretty fast. So the bigger the list you make, the more affordable you have. If they had, if they had this for Yu-Gi-Oh, woo, money. Next, we got the White Stone of Legend. Let me see if we got to get that. Yeah, White Stone of Legend. Um, Dragon Tuner Effect. Uh, I'm using this to cheat out, you know, the Blue Eyes in my opening hand if I can. Uh, and again, this is part of the Blue Eyes deck that I'm making. Next guy, I don't know what this is. All right, so what do we got here? We have, woo, Rise of the Mega Monarch here now. Um, I know the Monarch cards are pretty powerful, um, and I, I, I used a deck on this in uh, Master Duels, and uh, these were really fun. I know it was Zaborg and the, the Freezing one, so I was like, okay, let me get the other Monarchs just to have like a set and all that stuff. Uh, next thing we got going on is Dimension Dice. We got Orgoth the Relentless here. Again, going on with that dice, you know, deck that I'm trying to make and all that stuff, and I'm, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to, to building that out. Okay, we got Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon. Now again, this is this is this is a me, uh, Mega Pack 2022. So the tins that I was playing, I was I was getting early in my in my Yu-Gi-Oh foray. There's three copies of it. These are not going to be played with. I'm just going to put them straight into sleeves, and I'm just going to put them right in old binder. Um, <clears throat> Advanced Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. I have another one. Now I'm going to have a full play set of these to put into my Crystal Beast deck. 
We got blue eyes spear dragon. Okay, another one. See, so we had another one. So one of those boys, one of them is gonna get all put in the binder and uh, not get messed with. The other one's gonna go right into a deck. We got a uh, heretic seal of heavenly spires. Now I know this is like a pretty powerful card. Again, there's a lot of new cards I don't know how to use, like links, but I know this is pretty useful in this blue eyes deck that I'm making. <clears throat> Next, we got barrel dragon. Now this is classic metal raiders. You know, Bandit Keith. If y'all know this card, y'all know what's up. This is not one of those because I just want to have another one Barrel Dragon because I have I only have I only have one. I only have one Metal Raiders and I think it's unlimited. So uh, I thought this was really nice just to have. Looks like we have another Blue Eyes Spear Dragon. Okay, so I got three. So I got I got three. I got I got I got I maybe maybe I was getting a playset. Maybe I was getting a playset for these, and uh, now I do. We got magic cards. We got magic cards. I'll put these magic cards to the side because that'll be the second half of the video. Uh, we got relinquished anima. Now I think I have. I think I have a play set of these. I have three. I think. Let's just double check. Let's just double check. Oh my god! Oh my god! Can I get this out? Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, they did it like that. They did it like that. Okay, so they, they, they. It's really care. It's really scary to get cards. Actually, some people like tape the top loader incorrectly, and then like it just peels off everything. Okay, so I think, yeah, I got three copies of Relinquished Anima, and I don't know exactly how these work, but you know, I know I know Relinquished. Now that we have a link form of them, um, we should we should be good. Also, what did I do? Where is it? Okay, uh, yeah, okay. So that d Dimension Dice, I want to make sure I'm doing you know right by other people out here. Um, bad as collectibles, you know, shout out to y'all for selling me this card. I um, appreciate y'all. Every time I try to buy some on TCG player, I try to go from the same shop as much as I can to see if I can fulfill my order and get free shipping, but also, you know, help out one specific store. Next thing, Kyle, Kyle Hawkins. Thank you for this one. The, the Aesir games at gmail.com. You know, if you're trying to buy that stuff, send them, let them know that nerd on sent you. All right, what, what card is this? I don't have no idea what this is. Okay, we're gonna pull out the, okay, so white, white stone of ancients. Another card for the blue eyes support. All right, next thing is heroic call. So this is gonna be one of, I don't know what this is. So special summon one warrior monster from your candor graveyard, but you can special summon it as a non-heroic monster. I have no idea why I have this card. Might have been one of the cards I got from the same store just to get the free shipping. Next guy, Keldo. So I think this was the last one I needed to have a full three set. I had the rest of the Ishizu card. So Kelbeck and the other guy and the other guy, but now I'll have a full first edition three play set of all the Ishizu cards. Okay, so this, okay, so this is the fourth one. This is the fourth Blue Eyes Spear Dragon. So now I have one, I think I probably will have one to play with and then three in a in a binder. That's that's how I collect things. I usually do three ofs because I'm crazy that way. Um, we got Dictator of D, definitely goes into the Blue Eyes deck. Uh, I think it's just a better Lord of D at this point. When you control a Blue Eyes monster, you choose before attack targets for your... Uh, if you, while you control Blue Eyes Monster, you choose the attack targets for your opponent's attacks. You can only use each of the following effects of Dictator D once per turn. You can send one Blue Eyes White Dragon from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand. Discard one Blue Eyes White Dragon or one card that mentions it, then target one Blue Eyes Monster in your graveyard. So in a Blue Eyes deck, every card says Blue Eyes on it. So I'm popping this guy down. I'm getting a Blue Eyes and special summoning it from my graveyard. And, uh... Yeah, so I throw regular blue eyes into my graveyard. I pop this guy out. I have another card from blue that says blue eyes. I discard that, then I special summon that blue eyes. And now, if you attack me, you attack that blue eyes instead. Um, 3000 beat stick, baby. Okay, so this one here, I think this is not what I ordered, but I think what some people do, they put the card behind it. Oh, okay, so yeah, Raviel, Lord of Fantasy. I don't know how many of these I have. One of my first Megatons I opened up had like three of them, and now I have another one, and I had one from the Legendary Collector's Pack. So maybe I'm just collecting Raviel. Sometimes I buy stuff, and then it just like pops up again. I'm like, I thought I already had this. Next one's Royal Straight. So I know I want to get, what's in here? What's, there's a second card in here. So there's two cards in here, and uh, Advanced Crystal Beast Emerald Tor 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 Tortoise. Okay, so now I have a turtle in here. So I have I have all the crystal beasts I might need. Ooh, baby. If you know, if you see this, you know 
you know what's up. You see this, you know exactly what's up. That's a lot of money. So first of all, let's not go with a lot of money. So I think this is more of the card sphere cards. So again, I can make a list and then people will just fulfill them. And then we got Torment of Hailfire. I've been needing these cards. So sign in blood, target player loot, draws two cards and lose two life, two black. Nice sorcery for draw. And I got Torment of Hailfire. I had I don't have one copy of this. And so I definitely needed these for, you know, my my black my decks that have black in it. Um, just kind of as a good, um, you know, uh, win con. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, yeah. This is, a, this is a powerful card, especially if I can get some good ramp into it. I definitely have some cards I can do that. Also, it's like a Nickel Bolas in it. I'm gonna put in my Nickel Bolas, probably gonna put it in my Necron deck, and then probably put it in my Mono Black deck I'm making. All right, what's the next two, next cards that I'm getting out here? Ooh. Okay, so Shadowborn Apostle. I am making a Shadowborn Apostle deck. I am so sorry, everyone that's gonna have to deal with that. Um, I don't know how to do it. Um, I am open to suggestions. Make sure you write that down in the comments, baby, that I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. And then these are the cards I got actually from um, a Modern Horizons box uh i bought uh back in august with a friend we went halvesies on it and then i was like hey just pull me some cards that you think are gonna be good for me this is when i was still pretty new and you know eh, i've been playing for like four months but uh, i got asthma random marta de kais de coldacar asthma random marta kais de coldacar asthma random marta de kais de coldacar i think that's right comment below um underworld cookbook you need that for her as, okay, you have a Maya Cradle of Growth, a Legendary Land, so it's pretty much the um, Urborg, but uh, but uh, for green. What else I got? I got Douthy Void Walker. Need that for that mono black deck. Lazatep Chancellor, nice Demir Zombie Wizard for my Will Helt Zombie deck. Wonder, nice card if I want to have creatures with flying. Yeah, as long as you Wonder is in your graveyard and you control an island, creature control have flying. Might make a model blue, might use that in, um, I don't know, some kind of, maybe it could be in my wheel hill, I don't know. Uh, fortified Beachhead, enters the battlefield, may reveal a soldier card from your hand, enters the battlefield, tapped unless you reveal a soldier card. So f soldier support with this, you know, Azorius colors. Um, evolving Wilds, I do like me a foil. I like me a foil real good. Um, chromatic Star, I definitely have one already from, um, my Necron for my Necron deck. Um, I think these are all from now um, From my friend Raph. He got us uh, Brothers War boosters for Christmas. So I got that I got Transmogrant tra tra Transmogrant Altar Blanchwood armor. Oh, I think the land was probably Yeah, this was the um, Brothers War Mythic I got I don't know. I really don't know Mythic, rare, common, uncommon, god. I don't know what the bronze ones do. Mishra's research deck, Nine Vermin, Mishra's Onslaught, Military dis dis Discipline, Machine Over Matter, uh, if you control an artifact creature, return uh, uh. Yeah, That could be nice. This could be nice in my Mishra deck. If I want to have some bounce. Recommission, Forest, and then we got, we got these guys. Cool. Now, <clears throat> On to the big boys. Ooh, secret layers. I've been waiting for this. So the, the funny thing about so the funny story now. Um, I ordered these back in like early November, maybe even late October or whatever these dropped, and they didn't come to me until December, right? Um, and they actually arrived the day I was leaving to go see my family, and then they dropped it off at a local pick up and drop off store and I wasn't actually able to pick it up until the today and they're like if you waited one more day that UPS would have picked it up and tried to like resend it out and that was just a hassle because I had I think I had to sign or something like that and they just ugh, it was it was a nightmare but I ended up getting it and now here we are so what do we got we got the secret layer we got what is a secret layer 40k orcs warhammer for 40,000 orcs we have the special guest Yoji Shinkawa. We got the If Looks Can Kill. We got the Post Malone Backstage, the Post Malone Lands, Post Malone Backstage Pass, and Post Malone Lands. Oh, what? Do I have multiple lands? Did I buy multiple? <sighs> this is why, y'all. This is why I'm hurting. This is why I'm hurting for money. So, I, what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna open up 
each one of these first. So let's do this and we'll do the 40K after. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so open this one up. Okay, so we get a little, oh, oh, this is a nice little message from Posty. Nice. Okay, so we get, um, okay, so we get this. We get all these planes. Um, let's go ahead and open this up. Am I losing the value? I'm, I mean, let's just, let's just, we're, we're here to have fun play. These are all just going to go to a binder anyways. Let's be real. Let's be real. Okay, I'm going to go open up these boys. Planes, island, swamp. I like Liliana. I love Liliana. This is true. All right. Mountain, forest, and a fabled passage. It's kind of nice. Little, little scribbles. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Okay, on to the next one. I, I wonder if we're going to get these in all of them. And then we got Sun, Post, Son of Rich. I don't have a Crick, Son of Yagmoth. I have definitely played against one, and that was a nightmare. Uh, I, I wanted to cry. Um, Corey built it, of course, you know, because he's that kind of guy who likes people crying. That's, that's what he, he thinks is casual. Um, then we get a Post Citadel, so Bull is a Citadel. Uh, post sigil, which is uh, less track sig citadel, uh, sigil. Um, two black. Whenever an opponent casts a green spell, you may pay two. If you do, look at that player's hand, choose a card from it. That player discards a card, return, and then pay two, return this back to the hand. Interesting. Jet medallion. Ooh! Black spell that costs cost one less to cast. Artifact can be good. Post the enchanter. Zur the enchanter. It's Esper colors, legendary creature, one four, human wizard, flying, whenever post the enchanter, attacks me, search library for an enchanted card with mana card. Whoa, put it on the battlefield and shuffle. This is a powerful, powerful card. Especially if you're running like low, low value or low cost, high value. Another one from Posty, that's very nice. Okay, so these are the non-foil lands I got. Don't know why I have both. So boom. Oh, okay, so this is this is a new card. Thank you for being part of Secret Lair. This is nice. What is it? What is this? This one's if looks can kill. Okay. Azami, Lady of Scrolls. What is this one? Looks can kill. Lady of the Scrolls. Two and three blue. Legendary creature, human wizard. Zero two. And tap and untap wizard control. Draw a card. Okay. So that's just ability. You know, it's just an ability you have. We got Liliana, the Dark Realms. I love me, Liliana. Liliana. Uh, two and two black, Lady, uh, Lady, <laughs> Legendary Planeswalker Liliana, uh, three loyalty counters when it comes out, Sur uh, search your library for a swamp card, reveal, put in your hand, then shuffle. All right, nice little, you know, get a little, get some land. Oh, little smudging, is it, what's, you see that? You see that little, there's a little, there's a little thing right there. What's going on? What's going on, y'all? Y'all trying to lower my value? All right, so Reflector Mage, looks like a tr Living Tribunal with some Salem right there. One and Azorius, creature human. One Reflector Mage ETBs, return target creature to the opponent's hand. That creature owner can't cast spells with the same name as that creature until your next turn. Whoa! Evil, evil. We have Adaptive Automation, Artifact Creature Construct. Three, colorless, two, two. As adaptive enters battle, choose a creature type. Adaptive automation is a chosen type and dish to other types. Other creature types you control the chosen type get one plus one. Okay, kind of cool, kind of cool. Hedron Archive, this is beautiful. That's nice. I I kind of like the blankness of it because it just really highlights the foil. Really nice. And uh, these are these pretty Pringle. These are actually pretty nice. These aren't Pringled at all. No curling, baby. All right, we got the next is Yoji Shinkawa card here we've got a big old thank you being part of secret lair and these are these are the ones that look like metal gear solid right i have a satoru very much the same style phyrexian metamorph oh, these look these look so good these look so good i'm you know again i'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player so i'm all about them foils you see a hollow a super rare you're like going crazy okay can i open this please and not can i can i open this in a nice way thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Phyrexian Metamorph, three and then one blue Phyrexian color. So you can use that to pay two life instead. You may have Phyrexian Metamorph into the battlefield as a copy of any artifact or creature on the battlefield except as an artifact in addition to other types. Very nice. Tezzer the Secret, oh my God, look at that. It's my first Tezzer. I, I, I don't have any Tezzer cards. Um, look at that guy. Look at that. So nice. So good. 
Um, three and two blue. Skull clamp, my first skull clamp. Out of all the pre-cons I bought, I don't have one skull clamp. I have cranial, cranial plating. I don't have one skull clamp. And this is the nicest one. This is going straight into a binder. Solemn simulacrum, sad boy. Uh, and then we got synapse sliver. Ooh, is this good? Is this value? Did I get value? I've been, I got bone sight sliver and I have another sl sliver here. So I feel like maybe I'm getting really lucky with my, with my extra special secret card I get from that. So now, we put these here. Now we move on to Secret Lair Drop Series 40,000 Orcs. Let's open this up. Here we go. Wah! Wah! Okay. Ooh! Okay, so there's a guy I know. His, uh, he, I play in my pod that I play with. He's got all these Secret Lair boxes. And you know what? They, they, look, they look nice. They look clean. They look clean. Drop Series. So let's do it like this. Let's get this boy here. Let's get this boy here. We got Orc Commando. Ooh, 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 ooh. What's going on here? There's, there's a lot of stuff going on. Is this taped? Is this glued? Okay, it's like glued on. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh my God, look at this, look at this boy. This is how you get your cards all messed up. Careful, careful my angel. Okay, and then we got, whoa. I got a waste, basic land. Is this like the, the little special boy? That's all I got. Do I leave it in here? Does the value go up higher? Look at this, this is pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Okay, but what we got here, oh my God, I get this glue off. We got Orc Commando. Because oh Orc's not really part of the 40K world, right? 40,000? Mainly the Necrons, the Tyranids, the Astartes, right? What do I know? Someone call Henry Cavill, I don't know. So we got Orc Commando here, Merciless Executioner. It's two black, two and a black. Aggravated Assault, oh, this looks beautiful. So good. Makari, the Lucky Grot. It's Cranko, the Tin Street Kingpin, oh! Whenever enter attacks, put a woman counter on it, then create a number of woman red tokens. Oh. And we got Zergo Helm Smasher. Oh. I played against this card. This card's evil. And we got Davolka, Sovereign Console Flagship. Every time it deals bad, uh, enters the battlefield or attacks, it deals three damage to target creature, planeswalker, or opponent. Oh, or planeswalker and opponent controls cost three to crew. Oh, but this is a, this is a, this is a little curvy boy. A little this boy got curves. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's it. Um, absolutely happy. This is uh, my own Christmas present to myself. Uh, I'm hope that you guys enjoyed watching and seeing uh, some fun new cards that I'm looking to add to my collection. Um, definitely going to be trying to do some more, you know, TCG Yu-Gi-Oh Magic stuff in the future. Um, hope you guys look out for that kind of stuff. Let us know what you might want to see, see or how you would like to interact with us while we're doing this kind of, you know, change, not change, but addition to our normal uh, Nerd On uh, show and what we provide on the channel. Um, thank you all. I hope you guys had a happy holiday. And until next time, y'all, as always, Nerd On.